listen. If y'all was on my channel yesterday, y'all seen we uh we witnessed the murder. You know what I'm saying? I even tweeted out to the FBI. I said, listen, I would like to report a crime. I think it's a 187. Y'all need to come get Emmanuel Hudson. A man is out here bodying people. All right? You know what I'm saying? But listen, what's good? Holla squad. It's the littest squad on YouTube. If you're not a part of the squad, make sure you hit that sub button. And you could be a little bit more lit. You know what I'm saying? By joining the squad. But anyway, Emmanuel Hudson has dropped... He didn't really drop this. He went on IG Live. Somebody else dropped it on YouTube. But uh, since we had a lot of people talking about it in the comments, we're going to see what he had to say. All right, he's going to explain the whole situation. Now, some people, it, it was a little bit too spicy for it to be not real. You know what I'm saying? It had to be a real beef because it was way too, there was way too many jalapeno sprinkles in, in that verse he spit on Wild and Out. But we're going to hop into this, see what he got to say. This video is 16 minutes. Uh, I'm going to listen to it till it, he gets to the point, you know what I'm saying, of it. But if the whole 16 minutes, he's still explaining, we still going to be here. So let's hop into this. Let's go. You might as well. He, to he told me this. He was like, you might as well take the L on that because the, vid the views are already up. So just take that L and, you know, when we drop this official video, it'll be all good. So I'm like... No, nigga, I ain't finna do that because if we drop this official video, niggas are gonna wanna go to see they're, they're gonna wanna go back and see the original video. So let me, you know what I'm saying, let me um show me how to flag these people and take the videos down. So he showed me what to do, like flag, and he helped me out with that. Like, yo, all right, you go here, this, that, and the third, then the, it'll it'll take it down. I kid you not. The second I flag those pages. The original video jumped up 400,000 views in two days. Woo! So now money is money is coming to me. Oh, and that was back when YouTube was giving out the bag, all right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, I guess he's talking about the song, uh, asking all them questions, asking all them questions. So uh, we kind of came in at, at the middle of the story. He already had 11,000 uh, viewers. So, let's, uh, so I'm like, all right, cool. So I leave Orlando. And I call this nigga. I call this nigga and I say, yo. No matter of fact, he called me and was like, hey, we're going to drop the video February 14th. Now, I need y'all to stick with me. I need I need y'all to stick with me. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a lot. Hey, forget the comments. That's funny, that's funny. We need the story. All right? We need the story. Uh, I'm glad he in here. Spoken. Spoken reason. Like. Oh, spoken reasons put up in the IG lot, bro. Look, 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 look. Hold on, hold on. Stick with me, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 a lot. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, I'm glad he in here. Spoken, spoken reason. Lame man, nigga. You still, and I see you still on your Instagram talking trash, but let me tell you something about yourself, nigga. Oh, you cannot you. sit here and try to come to me man to man and apologize and do all this extra stuff, then get back on your page and do all this. Just because your name is Spoken Reasons don't give you a reason to speak, my nigga. Ooh. Relax. That's up. You ba -ba -ba -ba. Don DeMarc, he's still dropping balls. Cash your time, nigga. This, <laughs> this is my time. Like, if you're going to be a man and apologize, nigga, do that wholeheartedly. Don't hold back on certain stuff and then try to get on Instagram and still do all this extra crap, putting up, being my stuff. Nigga, that was in 2013. How you got a BMI contract that says, oh, this song was registered in 2013, two years after the song was out? Stop playing with me, nigga. Anyway, <clears throat> we ain't here for all that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna get that little egg lad nigga no attention. Anyway, so, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, after we made the official video, right? After we made the official video, the nigga called me and said, yo, we gonna drop this video February 14th. Now, mind you, guys, now, you know when a nigga say mind you, here's when stuff started to get real. Mm -hmm. So, the nigga said, we're going to drop it February 14th. It was January. This phone call happened in January. And the nigga told me we're going to drop the official video February 14th because it was since it was a relationship song, it was supposed to be for Valentine's Day. Uh, okay. So me personally, I'm like, 
I don't know how I feel about that, nigga. I want to drop it now, nigga. I want to drop the song now. It's, it, it's, it's, I understand we collabed on the project, but it's my song. Like, and I'm not telling him all this. This is how I'm feeling. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, I want to drop the song now. So he was like, nah, you can't drop the song, nigga, because he was like, you got to spread things. So, so if it's his song, how did this whole thing come about? You know what I'm saying? Because if it's, if it's a Mayo Hudson song, and uh, I guess he got spoken reasons to be in a video, and their collab thing was, I dropped the song, you dropped the video. Man, you better drop that video, my boy. Things out and give fans, like, what they want. So I'm like, man, all right, whatever. Mind you, again, this is January, so I got to wait a whole month to drop the official video. So when I went home, you know what I'm saying, my mom asked me, she was like, what's up? I was like, man, this man wants to drop the video a whole month later, and I don't, want, I don't know what to do till then. And she was like, nigga, you, you, you talented enough, like, just come up with another song. Just until then, do what you do. So that's when I came out with She Ratchet. She right? Ratchet. I came out with She Ratchet. Bro, if I hear, what, what was the thing? Something 99 plus tax. Bow. I was in seventh grade. I swear. I wanted to find whoever created this song and put him in a headlock. Now, Mayo Hudson, I don't want to do that no more. I don't want no smoke. I seen that body you just dropped on Spoken Reasons. I don't want that. I, I don't want that. But look, my man went crazy. He had the whole, he had the girls, the boys, the teachers, the principals. Everybody was singing it in my school. He scarred me for life. Hey, nigga, you, you, you talented enough, like, just come up with another song. Just until then, do what you do. So that's when I came out with She Ratchet, right? Mm -hmm. I came out with She Ratchet while the, the official video to asking all them questions was being edited. So... I dropped She Ratchet because I couldn't wait. Do y'all know? Here, here, here's where everything started to get real. At the same time, watch. I already know. Do y'all know when I dropped She Ratchet, this nigga seen what was going on, and this nigga called me immediately after I dropped She Ratchet and was like, yo, nigga, I know we said, I know I said I want to drop the video on February 14th, but nigga. You on fire, right? This is these are his words. You're on fire right now, and I want to add, add fuel to the fire. So I'm gonna drop. We gonna drop asking all them questions. Bro, it makes so much sense. I remember, bro. What? Come on. I rem I don't remember it like verbatim, but I remember like as soon as she ratchet came out, everybody was singing that. That asking all your questions was like right on its tail. I'm not going to be surprised if he says like two weeks like difference or like a couple of days because bro all I know is I went home one weekend came back and they had a whole nother song with homie face everybody was posting it up on their uh, on their, their MySpace official video you know Sunday it was a Friday when the nigga told me this so imagine how I'm feeling y'all I'm like bro like I'm excited nigga like now you want to drop the video you seen that I put out she ratchet and it's going crazy. So now you want your name in that buzz. That was his first. That was his intentions. So he like, yo, no, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop it. We're gonna drop it um, Sunday. So I'm like, all right, cool. Now here, now here's the screwed up part. This is where everything started getting ugly. Um, mind you, now after the first asking all them questions came out. And then I drop shoot ratchet. My Twitter is going crazy. I need y'all to. I need y'all to. You know, I need y'all to Stay bear with me. me. Yeah. After we dropped the first, on, after I dropped the original one by myself, and she ratchet. My Twitter is going crazy. Like my followers are jumping. I'm getting like 300, 400 thousand followers in like two weeks. Like, and it just kept jumping. So I'm on fire right now. And this nigga see all that and decides to take advantage of it. So. Friday. Whatever. He told me he was going to drop it. Nigga, tell me why. When the black people do this. Nigga, tell me why. <laughs> mind you now. Mind you now. Tell me why. Saturday. Tell me why. I get a text message from a girl that says, yo. Good um good job on the video with you and and, and and spoken reasons. It was really entertaining. This is Saturday. 
Oh, my man. Nigga, the video. My man couldn't wait to get his. Bro, fam wanted to push that joint out all six weeks. You know what I'm saying? Then my man couldn't even wait a whole. See, look, this is the industry and working with people. You got to understand. Some people is only working with you for their benefit. You know what I'm saying? I personally try to only collab with creators who I believe in. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, no, no, this, this is crazy. My man said, first of all, he felt like he was trying to do him a favor. He was going to hold it over him. But once the dude started breaking out on his own, he wanted to, like, reel it back in, which isn't cool. That's not cool. Yo! This nigga, hold on, let me see. That nigga said every little detail. That's what I'm saying, y'all, look, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's really a lot. This is why it's going to clear up a lot of stuff because there's a lot of stuff that he ain't telling y'all. This nigga doing interviews with, you know, little little podcasts and things like that. And he he's saying things like, oh, we had our indifferences. No, nigga, you indifferent. <laughs> we ain't had nothing, nigga. You indifferent, nigga. Don't be trying to tell the, the, the little the small truth, nigga. Anyway, so again, the video was supposed to drop Sunday. And it was Friday when he told me he wanted to drop it. Saturday, I get a text message saying, hey, good job on the video with you and Spoken Reason. I text, this, I text this girl like, yo, what are you talking about? Like, that video ain't supposed to be out till Sunday. Oh, that man was thirst, thirsty, thirsty. Bro, whoever screen recorded this, your internet is boo-boo, okay? Your internet is trash. I called, I tried to call this nigga. And you know, y'all, this nigga here, but I called this nigga and this nigga yeah, said, my. I said, yo, bro, what's up, bro? What happened? I thought we was supposed to drop the video on Sunday. He said, oh, yeah, you know, um, uh, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, I had ended up dropping because you on fire right now. We had to do it. I couldn't wait. This, that, and the third. So I'm like, all right, all right, bro, uh, bro, all right. Bro, this is why communication is key. All fam had to do was call him and be like, hey, bro, look. I can't even wait till Sunday. Let's drop that joint today, getting them two joints back to back. That's what real people do. And then if if a man hustle would be like, nah, let's just stick to Sunday. Or let's give it a week. Like, that's something y'all did. Bro, listen, people just be out here moving all types of bugazi. Send me the video so I can, you know, so I can um post it on my page. He was like, this nigga, this is what the nigga told me, y'all. This nigga said, YouTube. oh, I right, bet. But I got to send it to you when I get home. I'm at the movies right now. <laughs> now I need all y'all to pause with me and just stare into the camera. Stare into the camera. This nigga dropped my video a day before it was supposed to drop. And when I called this nigga and told me to send the video, the nigga looked me in my face and said, I'm at the movies right now. <laughs> I'm going to have to send it to you when I get home. Oh yeah, y'all, y'all. He would have had. Now I'm gonna let y'all before we move on to the next portion of the story. I'm gonna let y'all converse amongst each other and y'all tell me what y'all think so far. All right, look, look. He gave me my opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give my little four one one right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to sound like Bernie Mac right there, but look, my man's is a goofy. I would have ran down on him. Back in those days, I would have tried to find like a YouTube downloader, converter, something. That joint was coming off the internet. And um, I would have um, posted it up until I got like the clear copy or something. Oh, bro, I don't even know. I would have. I'm not that evil of a person to like flag it uh, for misuse, get it taken down and let him put it back up when he disputes it. I'm not that evil. But then again, I don't know how big they was back at that time. So, bro, bro look. Spoken Reasons looking hella goofy out here. I did watch Spoken Reasons back in the day, I'm going to be honest. But this got my man looking a little funny in a light. Of, of that whole little situation. So just go ahead and little talk. Just go ahead and talk now now. <laughs> now I'm telling y'all this for a reason. This nigga literally looked me in my... I'm at the movies right now, nigga. I'll send you your video when I get home. Bruh. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Bro, they said, were y'all FaceTiming? 
Moving on. Okay. So we're going to move on. Now that y'all had a time to let that digest, because it's a whole... This story too entertaining. I got to watch the whole thing. I hope y'all watch it with me. A whole lot. It's a whole lot. Let that... Let that digest. Let that marinate. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's, 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 let's recap. He flew me out there, did an interview, showed me how to flag other niggas for taking my video down. For all the people that's just now joining, the nigga flew me out there. This nigga stole my money. <laughs> flew me out there. We did an interview. And he told me we was going to drop the video uh, a month later. I made She Ratchet. The nigga called me that same month in January and said, we're going to drop it in two days. Hey, it was a Friday. We're going to drop it on a Sunday. Uh... The nigga called, I called the nigga Saturday and said, this girl said she seen the video, what's up? The nigga said, yeah, I had to drop it, nigga, you on fire right now. I said, okay, well, nigga, let's be on fire, like, nigga, let's be on fire together. That's, what, what, what are you talking about? Like, don't tell me the, the video on fire. I know oh, facts, what it is. Facts, 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 though. And he said it was getting edited, you know what I'm saying? Because clearly you posted it and people are telling me, nigga, I ain't even seen the official video yet, nigga. I ain't even seen it. <laughs> so anyway... This nigga, move, we, we moving on. So after he tells me this, again, my Twitter is on fire now. My followers are going crazy. So me being stupid and him knowing things, this nigga knows whoever drops the video first. You get all the views at the top of the... That's who it belongs to. That's the originator. That's the YouTube rules. That ain't my rules or his rules. That's the YouTube rules. So that's why I couldn't sue the nigga or take it down. I could flag every other video. But 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 you could have sued him for like putting something out with your face on. I don't know, maybe. Listen, I, I ain't one of them Twitter people who think they, they, they went to law school just because they read a couple of tweets. But I don't know. But not that video. Tell me why. Because that yeah, nigga uploaded it first, man. <sighs> now, it gets worse. Man, spray his me being naive, I'm like, all right, bro, send it to me when you get home. I'm all excited and I'm all excited and crap. So I post the link from this nigga page. I send, I take this nigga link from here. That's how he got all the views. The link that I, the link that I, I, I posted his YouTube link to my Twitter. And this was when I was like, the, my Twitter was in its prime of going like crazy. So I tweeted his YouTube link and I was like, yo, everybody, everybody, yo, go check out the new video. They flooding his joint. Nigga, I wake up in the morning super excited like, yo, all right, let me call this nigga because he still hasn't sent the he, video. He the My phone. nigga, I called this nigga and the phone was off. The phone was off. The phone was off. Like, I tried to call this nigga, like, and I couldn't reach him. Then, the nigga had this assistant call me. And I said, yo, my nigga, like, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell that nigga to send me the video. Like, what's going on? This, assi this nigga assistant says, oh, his number got leaked. So he had to change numbers. <laughs> bro, my man put his nostrils in the goddamn camera. You know what I'm saying, bro? Listen, listen. Let me tell you something. I would have been on the next flight back. I seen she ratchet going off. I know the check is coming. I don't know how YouTube was back then if they had like your estimated revenue, but I know I'm gonna get the money back for this flight. I'm about to take back down to Orlando. I'm pulling up on Spoken Reasons with the fisties. My man's getting all types of... Bro, look, look. I'm pulling up to his house. I'm spamming all types of combos. My man's getting the beats. I'm glad I ain't never have to go through nothing like this. Nigga, give me the new number. <laughs> it's that simple. It's that simple. If a nigga, if a nigga number changed, give me the new number. This nigga assistant hold told on, hold me. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to this. Oh. Hold on. About to call this nigga like. Uh huh. And I couldn't reach him. Watch this though. Then the nigga had this assistant call me, and I.
all right, see, here we go. I don't know if he's going to explain this later, but he said he called Spoken Reasons, right? Then Spoken Reasons had his assistant call. He couldn't have changed. How did you know he called for you to have your assistant call? Could have been a coincidence. Maybe he's going to explain it. Sp look, my man looking hella funny in the light. That's all I'm going to say. Say, yo, my nigga, like, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell that nigga to send me the video. Like, what's going on? This, assi this nigga assistant says, oh, his number got leaked. Oh, yeah, yeah, so he had to change numbers. It's that simple. If a nigga, if a nigga number changed, me give me the new number. <laughs> this nigga assistant told me that the nigga number got leaked, so he had to change it. And to to throw a little sprinkle of razzle dazzle on there, the nigga said it usually that that happens often. Nigga, I oughta often whoop your. All right. So, told the nigga that the nigga, the nigga number got leaked and couldn't get in contact with him. So, I figured, all right, I see this nigga tweeting. So, I tweet the nigga spoken reason. I'm like, yo, bro, send me my video, nigga, what's up? That nigga said, yo, this nigga tweeted me back and said, oh, snap. Um, I got you soon as my partner get back with my laptop. I ain't got my laptop on me right now, so I'm... <laughs> Mama, take me to the airport. I got a, I got a flight to go catch. I'll be back. That's all that would have happened. I might have to send it to you. Nigga, you tweeting. Send me my video. So then, now mind you guys, I don't know anything about the internet. I don't know nothing. I don't know... What to, I don't know how to rip videos. I don't know how to do nothing. All I know is this nigga dropped the video super early. I sent all my fans over there that night and the day of being excited. And now he's getting hella views first. All, them, all that traffic going to him. So this nigga know what he doing. So damn, I'm like, so my partner reached out to me and was like, that's why y'all see, if, if and the proof is there. That's why if y'all go look at the video on his page and you on mine, you'll see that they are day they're a day behind like if we supposed to drop it at the same time we set the we set the time and the day why is it off why is mine dropped the next day and yours dropped there so anyway so my friend reaches out to me he was like bro i can rip videos do you want me to rip it and you know then you just have that video i'm like all right cool you know what i'm saying like all right cool so the nigga he, my homeboy ripped it then sent me my own video I posted it. But by this time, everybody is still... And now I have to go back to my followers like, yo, now look at it on this page. Niggas is like, nah, nigga, we already seen it. You funny. What's next? Facts. So I'm like, all right. So this nigga flooding all the views. Everybody... This nigga says spoken treasons. That's funny. <laughs> all right, so... There's... But wait! There's more. We'll be right back after these commercials. No. <clears throat> this sport that I'm, this, this shirt that I'm walking is called Wealthy Peasants. Y'all make sure y'all, you know what I'm saying, rock with that, man. Wealthy Peasants means to live as a king with the heart of a peasant. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Stay humble, you know, humble by nature. You know what I'm saying? Rich in spirit, humble by nature. That's hey, since you, since you sending out, you know what I'm saying, go ahead, let me be a brand ambassador for that thing. You know what I'm saying? Sen pause. I didn't mean to say thing like that. I, I was referring to the shirt, okay? Or the hoodie. That's all I wear is jackets, all right? Send me one of those. Let me do a little bit of brand ambassador, you know. Just what the pants for the kid. That's why I love this clothing brand, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my little brother, Philip Hudson. You know what I'm saying? I love you, boy. So I'm going to have to wait for part two. I'm upset. 50,000 on my head is... Bro, come on. All right, listen, somebody send me the link to uh, the other parts of this because we got to get to the bottom of this. Spoken treason has entered the chat. You know what I'm saying? My man was sitting here watching this whole time looking hella goofy, bro. All 
R.I.P. Spoken Reason. My man went on Wild and Out, got clapped. He's on the internet going crazy right now. I want to see Spoken Reason side of the story. Because you, cause you're not looking good. But I know from experience, you got to look at both sides of the story. Because uh, sometimes, I'm not saying Emmanuel Hustling is lying. He sound pretty legit to me. You know what I'm saying? But you always got to get both sides of the story then you, before you like solid form your own opinion. But the story looking a little bulletproof right now. You know what I'm saying? Spoken Reasons probably lied about his number getting leaked because how did you know Emmanuel Hudson called you for you to have your assistant call back? And what YouTuber who your job it is got your cousin running around with your life? Bro, I would have been on Orlando... Listen, I ain't even gonna speak on that. Listen, y'all let me know what y'all think it is. Make sure I hit that sub button, join the house squad. We trying to hit that 100K goal by June 17th. It's the young boy birthday. You know what I'm saying? So uh, help a brother dream come true. <clears throat> and until next time, we out of here. I thought this was my all, but it isn't. They would have blamed God, but I didn't. My whole team took it in stride. We ain't never took no pride. Our love for this game is the reason why we in it. They thought this was my all, but it isn't. They would have blamed God, but I didn't. My whole team took it in stride. We ain't never took no pride. Our love for this game is the reason why we in it. You never compromise and show no change. But we still about to blow no propane. I got these thoughts of suicide. Since these people want me dead, I'll take a bullet to the head like Cobain. <laughs>